I, would, I knew he was going to come back. I just knew he was. Adelaide Poland and Conrad Ray met as teenagers. Her family spent summers at a retreat in Hartford, Maine. He was a boy from Canton. In 1941, Conrad joined the Army Air Corps and was stationed in Mississippi. They were married in Mississippi on November 20th. Two weeks later, on December 7th, the newlyweds went to the zoo, then settled in to listen to a concert on the radio. And they interrupted the concert to announce about Pearl Harbor. And it was really a shock, because you know he's already in uniform and all that, you know he's going to go. So that's when we heard that. And it was the next morning he went in to report at the base and then he came back and said, well, I'm off. Conrad kept a diary. Adelaide preserved it. December 7th, the United States is again at war. It was by the radio that we learned the Japs had attacked Pearl Harbor. Now you know it's Japs. As I listened to those words, a chill ran down my back. It means that we are no longer free to live our lives as we wish. This stab in the back was extremely well planned and all the times their ambassadors were in our capital making a false peace. The bitterness there, you see. Conrad Ray spent 15 months flying missions in the Pacific Theater and came home unharmed. What Adelaide remembers most about the time he was gone was the spirit on the home front. When people needed help, why? Everybody who knew about it would help. I mean, it sounds sort of idealistic and all that, but it almost felt that way to me. Not then, but as I look back, it's, it's a different time. And I'm, I'm not sorry I lived through that time.